How long can you run your laser engraver at a craft show? Today's video is going to be all about testing that, finding it out, doing some calculations, and of course making stuff in this mock craft show setup. Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to Sam Craft. That's right, today's video is all about the questions that I've seen not only on my own channel but also in all sorts of laser engraving groups and online forums. People want to know, if I take my laser to an event and I don't have power, how much power is my laser going to use? I want to buy a battery bank or a power station. What size do I need? Well, in today's video, I'm going to deep dive into that, answer all those questions and more, running my laser, my computer, and everything I need off of a Jackery power station. So without further ado, let's go. I'm going to put up some detailed technical specifications here on the screen and then hit a couple of highlights here. This is a Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro. It is a 1000 watt hour unit. What that basically means is it can provide 1000 watts of power for one hour. Or if you're using less wattage, you can divide it into a thousand and get the same kind of figure. Unboxing the power station, we are greeted with a user manual, a little zipper bag with a car charge cable and an AC adapter cable inside, and the portable power station itself. It comes with three AC outlets for standard US electronics, two USB-A outlets, two USB-C outlets, and one 12 volt car accessory port or sometimes called cigarette lighter outlet as well. There is also a flashlight on the front of this unit that can operate in high, low or SOS mode. It has a very large carry handle on top which makes it perfectly easy to grab and go, move around or easily set up and carry with you at events. The bottom of the unit has large rubberized feet on it and it is an overall very rugged unit that should hold up to the abuses of life on the road. In case you are not familiar with the company Jackery, they are a leader in portable clean energy solutions and have been in business since 2012. This particular model is the Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro. It has the capability of doing full wall charge from AC power in under two hours or solar charge in under two hours with the appropriate solar panels connected. It is a pure sine wave inverter that delivers stable power at 60 hertz, which is what sensitive electronics such as laser engravers and computers absolutely need. This power station is good for a 1000 cycle battery life before you see any degradation at all. That means if you do one craft show per week, you have over 19 years worth of craft shows. You can rock and roll with a Jackery before you see any degradation in battery life. That is pretty cool. While I have only skimmed on several of the technical specs and other accessories and information, definitely check out the link down below if you want to learn more about Jackery, whether it be this unit, the solar panels, the accessories, the home backup power solutions, or any other kind of product they offer. There's a link that'll take you right there to them. Welcome to my mock craft fair setup. I have my table here and it's much smaller than what you normally have at a craft show, but it is set up with the Jackery power station, the Xtool F1 laser, air purifier, and my laptop over here. I'm going to be running 100% off of this battery pack. Anything you see on the table that will be used for the craft fair environment, the projects I make and the things I show will be run out of the juice already in this box. This unit is not plugged up, it is not charging, I'm not cheating at all. The goal of this video is to see how much power the F1 uses, the air purifier, my laptop charging, how much energy we consume, and how long of an estimated runtime we could get to prove if this is feasible for a craft show setup and making projects on the fly for your customers at events. To kick off this video, we need to go back in time to Sam's workshop when it was just a workshop and actually go ahead and start making our blanks. We're going to be cutting a bunch of different blanks on the Xtool P2 CO2 laser, but for interest of this video, we're going to be using the Jackery 1000 Pro to run and power the CO2 laser, use some energy that way, see what it consumes, and otherwise make our stock that we then bring to us to this craft show. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back to the craft show. So we have all of our material cut, glued, assembled, some of the stuff painted and ready to go. We have our blanks here on our table. Our setup is set up. We have the laptop, the laser, the air purifier, and of course the Jackery, which has given us power for everything we're going to do. What I want to do next is run through honestly several projects let's go ahead and fire up the machine let's plug up the laptop to its charger consume power that way and let's go ahead and do some customizations for customers so i want to press the display just to wake it up that's not required but allows us to see what's going on and now we'll press this button to power up the laser the air purifier and the laptop charger itself I'm here at my event, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hi, a customer. What's that you say? You would like one of these cat ornaments custom engraved? No problem. What name would you like? Aha, uh -huh. great. Let's jump over to my computer. We'll go ahead and edit that for you. Put it into the laser and engrave it right here while you wait and watch. Okay, so that was super cheesy. I'm not the best salesman in the world, but you kind of get the idea, perhaps, if you're at an event, a customer walks up, sees what you have, I would recommend having several of your blanks on display. Definitely have some signage saying customized on site, made to order, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and assume a customer has told us they want their cat's name on this ornament. Go ahead and plop it over on the laser. Go over to Xtool Creative Space, start designing, and engrave this. All right, guys, first things first, let's take our object lay it down on our laser and focus it as need be that looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and click on framing in my software and right here i have the outline which i like to just line up visually if you want to do templates and make little slots or jigs for these to fit into by all means do that that looks pretty good so i'm gonna click on stop framing i'm gonna go ahead and lower my shield then i'll click on process in my software it's going to load up the preview where I just have the text. That looks great. I'm going to click on start. The beep tells me this is ready to run. What I want to do is turn on the Jackery display. I want to see how much power we actually pull, especially when that air purifier kicks in. Currently, we're using 76 watts, which is the machine standby, and the laptop charger is going as well. This is charging my battery. I made sure it was not totally full to give a full representation on this test. So, okay, laser is focused. Object placed, cover down, everything's plugged up. We'll press this and rock and roll. All right, we are done. This looks a little bit light for me, so I'm gonna tweak my settings, but what we really wanna note is that this power ramped up to about 125 watts 100 watts was the fan, so not bad. We added about 50 watts with the laser and the air purifier going. That's pretty good. I want to go ahead and flip this over and engrave the back as well. That is an option I want to do with this product. And there we have it. One customized on-site custom ornament for this person. I think they're happy. Well, as I check the display on the Jackery, it still says we're at 100%. So we are not really taxing this thing at all. The maximum draw looks like it's around 130 watts or so with the laser, the air purifier, and my laptop charger all going at the same time. So yes, Things are looking good. In the interest of your time with this video, but to continue to test the Jackery power station, I wanna go ahead and run through the rest of all of my materials, all of the blanks that I brought with me. I mostly have some ornaments that are wooden ornaments that I'm engraving, but also have a set of slate drink coasters that I will also be doing. During this time, I'm just going to work I'm not going to talk to the camera much because you've seen the process. The main goal is to just use this setup to run it continuously over and over, go through my assortment of materials and basically see how long the Jackery is lasting and how much energy it still has once I've run through everything I have on hand right now.
I'm loading up my last object here. This is a drink coaster. It's number four of a four pack. Everything's going great so far. It is uh, just, you know, business as usual, really. Uh, the interesting and cool thing about it is if I did not know this box here was giving me the electricity I needed, I would not know any difference. This puts out pure sine wave, 60 hertz power, no problems, no blips, and honestly, it's silent, it's out of the way, you would never know it's there unless it's just right there. So while this is running on the last coaster, I wanted to show you the kind of results you get. Look pretty good. These are the default results that are built within the machine, or the software rather, and they take a right at one minute to run, which is much faster than your normal gantry lasers that go back and forth. This Galvo style laser is a lot quicker. I still have to do my maker's mark or brand on the back of these for our business name, but otherwise the coasters are done, the ornaments are done, so it's time to lay out our stuff and look at the Jackery to see what kind of consumption we have and what the data shows. All right, we are done running through all of the materials I brought to this craft show. I've completely sold out, so that's a good day at the booth. We have run for right at one hour and the Jackery is down to 90% battery capacity. So if we want to use 80% of the battery, because you don't want to drain these completely, we can figure that we can run this much non-stop over and over and over for eight hours. That is pretty cool. That is actually really cool. Now couple this unit with some solar panels and that obviously would go up from there on your run time. In addition, if you're not running it literally back to back to back to back, if you only customize a couple of things but you sell other pre-made items, that of course is going to give you a longer run time too. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed getting to see kind of the bare bones minimum, what you need for power, how much this machine uses, your laser will use, and a rough estimation on how long you can run with the battery. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them for me down below. There are links to the Jackery Power Station and their website down below as well. Definitely go check it out if it's something you want to learn more about and see all the other different sizes, models, accessories, packages, and all sorts of things that they have together. Also down there in that video description, you will find links to machines, materials, tools, and other things that I use in my laser engraving business. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Take care, and I'll see you next time in the workshop.